you know, we see a study from Oxford University that something like uh, 47% of human tasks are uh, potentially replaceable by AI. And people start to get scared. And they start to see technology as an enemy. And I wanted to bring some perspective on the topic of why I think we're not going to run out of jobs, right? Why we're not going to have to say, hey, you humans, we got nothing for you to do. We just got to put you all on the dole. Now, I will say that universal basic income is a really interesting idea, but the idea that we will have to go there because it's an inevitable result of technology is a mistake. Because the first reason is, as my friend Nick Hanauer said, technology is the solution to human problems. We won't run out of work till we run out of problems. Right? Are we done yet? I mean, are we, seriously, are we done yet solving the world's problems? I mean, I love what Mark and Priscilla announced last week. Mark Zuckerberg and Priscilla Chan uh, announced an initiative. They're, they're putting uh, $3 billion towards an effort to cure all diseases in their children's lifetime. That's a crazy ambitious goal. And do you think we're going to do that without the help of machine learning and AI? I don't. And we've already got AI startups working on this. DeepMind's first me uh, medical research is, is using AI to, to, to uh, look for abnormalities in, in eye scans, millions of scans. Humans can't really do that very well. Uh, we've got startups like Analytic. Is Jeremy here by any chance? Uh, Jeremy Howard. Uh, uh, somebody from the Strata world who's moved into machine learning. Uh, again, they're, they're applying machine learning to look at x-rays, MRIs, and other kinds of medical scans uh, to detect tissue abnormalities that might not be noticed by uh, physicians. Uh, and then what about other problems? Climate change. I mean, this is a serious challenge. I mean, this is, is actually, I believe, in many ways, the thing that will utterly transform our economy because uh, one day we're going to wake up and go, oh, you know, we really have a problem. And all of a sudden, we're going to be on a war footing trying to figure out how to utterly transform our economy, transform our energy system, transform our transportation, transform the way we use buildings. And we're going to need every human being and every machine and all the intelligence we can get uh, to deal with this amazing challenge to our very existence, right? What about war? I mean, you, know, you don't think we could do better at politics? Do you think we could actually use a little bit more intelligence? I think we could. What about rebuilding after war? You know, I think, again, we have this assumption about the economy that it's this game in which it's all about removing humans as a cost so that we can increase the profits. But in fact, a great economy comes from investing in people. Wonderful uh, statement from Bob Putnam, uh, the, the sociologist and author. He said, all of the great advances in human history have come when we have invested in other people's children. He was talking about investments in education, but you think also of something like the Marshall Plan. We built modern Europe after we destroyed it. it you know, Italy looked like Syria does today. You know, we have a challenge ahead of us to rebuild this mess we've made, right? And again, is there plenty of work to go around? Absolutely. Could we use uh, machines to help us do it? Absolutely. So, uh, you know, I, I really think about the fundamental problem of our time is not technology destroying jobs, it's the choices we make. There's a wonderful book by my friend Lewis Hyman called Borrow, The American Way of Debt uh, that talks about all the capital on the sidelines and how uh, this was also true in the period leading up to World War II and how much R&D, investment. It wasn't just investment in the war effort. It was investment in the future. The plastic industry, aluminum, synthetic rubber, aerospace, all kind of came out of that massive investment. And I think we're going to have a series of massive investments that are going to bring the AI era into the everyday world.